Scammers across the country are capitalizing on advanced technology to get your personal information. And one way they're doing it is by skimming your credit card with devices illegally installed on card readers. And they look just like this. Now, it's a problem across the country with authorities trying to warn consumers how easy it is for hackers to steal your private information. In Kentucky, Elizabethtown residents were some of the most recent victims of falling to this scam. Our Gabriel Gonzalez is in E-Town. He's speaking to the police department there about ways to protect you and your money. And it can happen anywhere. Uh, it can happen at big box stores. It can be at mom and pop stores. Credit and debit card users beware. Just when you think you've made a purchase, swiping that credit card may have cost you more than you think. They are very clever. The devices have certainly improved. Scammers are using devices called skimmers discreetly inserted on those pin pad machines. Stores in Elizabethtown reported three separate instances of these skimmers. Police found these items, which look exactly like your normal card reader, placed over the pin pad. Chris Denham said it's easy to mistake the real from the fake. You can see it just simply overlays the original equipment. And uh, as you insert, the victim inserts their credit card or debit card, in the uh, what they think is legitimate equipment, their, their information is compromised. E-Town Police said using the tap feature on your card could help reduce the threat, although it's not 100% foolproof. It's everywhere, right? It's not just in Elizabethtown, it's not just Hardin County, it's not just in Jefferson County, it's everywhere. It's widespread, it's not just a national problem, it's an international problem. Just pay attention. Again, if you see something that doesn't look right, it's probably not. Now, there are plenty of ways to protect yourself from skimming. One of those ways is doing a quick scan of the pin pad that you're using just to make sure that it has not been tampered with. If it looks like it has, just move to the next pin pad. Another way is to be wary of non-bank ATMs. There are plenty of those at grocery stores, restaurants, or bars. Use an ATM at your trusted bank for security. Another way is to use mobile banking on your phone. This decreases the amount of times that you have to insert or tap your card on a pin pad. And lastly, don't forget to block your pin when you are entering it from those around you. In E-Town, Gabriel Gonzalez, WHS 11, on your side. Well, Chris also said that there are two things to do if you think your information has been compromised by a skimmer. First, contact your bank to make them aware of the fraud right away. Second, contact law enforcement immediately. The sooner they know about it, the more of a chance that the crime will be solved.